What is potentially dangerous out there this morning is the uh, large puddles along with the potholes, TJ. Yeah, we've got some fog out there as well, uh, reducing the visibility. So we encourage you to use extra caution as you're headed out to work or school. Let's take a look at what's going on. We got lots of green on the screen and some yellows as well. In fact, you can see this little patch of yellow working its way just north of Providence, coming up Route uh, 295, crossing over into the 95 corridor through Central Falls and on up toward the Attleboro's. And we've got some more heavier downpours off to our south and west that'll be working their way through the region. That with the fog and already the uh, amount of water on the roadways. It's going to be a, a little slow going, I think, on the roads today. Got a relatively low chance of anything. It's kind of a big impact. It's raining. I think we're used to that. Just keep the speeds down tonight. Low chance Saturday. We got the chance for some snow and there could be some small accumulations in spots and there could be some slick roadways. So slightly higher chance of weather that'll have an impact on your life. Uh, Hurricane Barrier Cam. We've got some uh, rain falling in Providence and looking at relatively uh, calm conditions down in Narragansett relatively calm as well. Just some wet roadways. Temperatures currently at 39 in Smithfield, 43 Providence, 42 Newport, New Bedford, Taunton in the lower 40s. Tiverton right now at 43 degrees with a light wind tending from the north northwest. You can see the stream of moisture lined up from Maine all the way back into New York City and down to our nation's capital. And we're going to be seeing the rain, I think, through the uh, uh, rest of the morning and into the early afternoon. Cold front will push offshore but there'll be some lingering showers behind it. Now tomorrow we'll see an area of low pressure right along that cold front pass on off to our south and east pretty far offshore. Problem is there'll be what we call a, a trough or kind of like an extenuation of that low pressure back into southern New England. That's going to help to create some rain showers and I think also some snow showers and there could be some small slushy accumulations during the daytime tomorrow. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. Here we are this afternoon with the rain still falling and then there'll be a bit of a break as we head into the evening hours. Then some more rain showers develop overnight. There'll be enough cold air in place. I think we'll actually begin to see the rain showers switch over to some snow showers and here we are 11 o'clock. Saturday morning, still looking at a smattering of snow showers, and then the atmosphere warms up a little bit, and we're likely going to be seeing the, the snow mixing with the rain uh, at times. So here's what we're looking at for this morning. Again, rain and fog. Given the morning commute, that yellow caution light, 40 to 45 degrees. Temperatures low to mid 40s this afternoon across the area, including in Providence, on over in Cranston, Warwick, about 43 in Warwick along the coastline. Temperatures should be topping out in the lower 40s with some early afternoon showers remaining chilly everywhere, including up in northern Rhode Island. Average highs about 51 this time of year, so still well below average in Boroughville, 42. Early showers in the afternoon over in southeastern Mass, 43 Fall River, 42 Taunton, 40 three degrees in New Bedford. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. There's that mix of rain and snow tomorrow. Only about 38 sunny but chilly on Sunday. Only around 40 degrees Monday. A few rain showers late Tuesday late evening. We'll see some snow showers and rain showers develop and then uh, that'll continue into early Wednesday. Maybe a little April fool snow. Snow starts late Tuesday evening into early Wednesday morning, and there could be some small accumulations there, and then maybe some more rain showers on Thursday. Busy next seven days. Remember, you can get the updated future cast by going to the app store on your cell phone. You can download our new WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can live inter get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Download it for free at the app store or the Google Play store. Let's get an uh, update.